So the Canada geese have been released here into the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to do a bit of hunting and see if we can drop a few uh, and just look at how they work. I've been hunting them a bit, and I will say that I do feel they're not a fully finished product. There are definitely some minor issues and a few major ones that need to be worked out, uh, and hopefully that'll be somewhat in the near future. So you can see this massive spread of geese decoys I have. Uh, basically, the reason for that is they do not come in packs of ones in the store. Uh, I'll actually just go into my tent and give you a quick look at what I'm talking about. So if you go into the store, after you've purchased the DLC, you can scroll down uh, to decoys and you can see it looks like there's just one. I don't know if it says in that uh, little read that you have, but basically they come in much more than one. I tried to buy eight of each of these and I ended up with over 100. Uh, I think 100 is the max that you can place all at one time in... Uh, one map and I've got them all in this field so just be aware of that uh, don't waste all your money doing that and basically what I found out uh, so far from hunting these guys is that they tend to land roughly in the same area every time uh, and that area is somewhere around in here so we're going to try to be a little bit creative uh, and place our blind right about here and I want to be facing actually uh, this way so you just face uh, this little like pillow looking thing away from where you want to be facing so if we hop in here we're facing now towards the tent and they should be landing almost on top of us and i really feel that is necessary right now uh the bird shot with both the 12 gauge and the 20 gauge really does not do that much i'm actually using the 20 gauge buckshot which for whatever reason is actually ethical on the geese uh, at the moment so i'll show you that when the first goose flock comes over so I've been hunting these guys a fair bit. I do believe a level 5 is the maximum for a goose, so we should spot all these and make sure there's no potential diamonds uh, just flying over our heads here. And the biggest I see is a level 3. I actually don't know if a female can get up to a 5. I've only seen males go up to 4, so I'm kind of guessing it has to be a male uh, to be a diamond goose. And you see that weird turn that they do? I don't know if they're missing an animation there or why they just kind of turn on a dime like that. That's one of the uh, problems that I've seen with it. And is that goose a little bit of a different color? Uh, I can't seem to get my binoculars over there, but we should be able to tell. Yeah, I feel like that might be a leucistic right there. So let's have our uh, spot on that. And it looks like she's going to try to land right here in front of us. So let's just be ready and let's go for it. There we go. Got her with the 20 gauge buckshot. And you can see, I think I hit her the first time as well. Uh, and then I've had a little bit of success doing this. But I have to hit them a bunch of times. She should be going down somewhat shortly, or he, I don't actually know. There we go. So, they are very, very tough. Where did that one uh, that we dropped first go? That's the other problem with these right now. They do not highlight uh, once they are dead, so you really got to focus on where they're at. Uh, is this one? It as It absolutely is a rare. I've already had one of these. I believe this is a brown hybrid. Uh, you can see, let me uh, get down close so you know what to look for. The neck on this goose is brown, and you can see it's a lot more white. Uh, than a normal goose. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Brown hybrid goose. Uh, like I said, this is actually my second one. We only had one pellet headed apparently, uh, and that does not look quite right. That would be a stomach, and I want to check this out. Okay, cool. When you do the right click uh, to bring up the actual, like, animal, it does show the rare variation. So I'm going to screenshot this a few times. That's going to cause my uh, recording to be a little bit weird, so I'll just uh, go grab the other goose then. And once again, as I said, they don't highlight, so you really got to focus on where they're at. One of the things that I should have done and I didn't do is actually spot, uh, that second goose we were shooting with the 22, because that will allow you to get an idea of where they're at. Uh, on the map, it'll kind of show up where you last spotted it, but I think that it's right here, uh, on the ground. And I'll just show you in case you've not seen any of the geese yet. I'll just pick this one up. You can see there's like more black on the wings of the last one. Uh, the underside's a little more of a gray, and of course the completely black neck uh, with the white underside. Uh, so this one's actually a little bit bigger. We hit it a bunch of times though. Let's actually go back. Uh, we hit it in the sternum twice, one of the legs or um, apparently wing bones, uh, and then a flesh shot all with the 22 uh, going out to 100 meters. So the 22, I mean... Apparently, five shots gives 75% integrity, so four would be uh, 100%. It does work, but you got to hit it so many times uh, unless you're hitting it in the actual vitals. Uh, I'll try to show that at some point, but let's go back here into the blind. It was actually cool to get uh, the first goose of the video being a rare. This is the first time I've seen this. There's just a solo goose flying out here. It'd be crazy if this was actually a five. Uh, it is a level three, but I'm going to try to show you what the 12 gauge bird shot does on this since it's a solo anyway. Uh, I kind of expect it to get away to be 100% honest. I really have next to no luck uh, using the bird shot. And of course, the 12 gauge is bigger than the 20 gauge. And it's going to try to land over there, I think. So that might not actually work. Yeah, let's try it anyway. 
I'm not even sure if we're hitting it. Are we not? I swear we should be. Let's try the 22 then, because uh, I was somewhat successful with that. That was a hit. It is going to die, so I should stay spotted on it. Because uh, I'm going to have to go find that, otherwise I'm going to lose my consec. That's the other thing about geese. They are a consecutive harvest killer. Uh, and you can see it dropping over there. My chances of finding that are so low. Uh, but I should probably go do that before I spot something else. But yeah. I don't know how I missed every shot with a 12 gauge bird shot. I seem to be on with that. Uh, but maybe we'll have to try that again. Wait a minute. That doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Is this the one that I shot? Can't really spot it to find out. Does this do anything? Nope. And this unfortunately is another one of the bugs. I can no longer get in my blind. I think it's since I went out of render to go find that goose uh, that I just shot at and then fast traveled back. Uh, I can definitely not get in my blind. So one thing that works as a workaround is actually just going and laying in the field or laying on the hill uh, in my case. It actually has the same or maybe even a better effect than the blinds do. You just don't get to be right in there uh, by the geese. I don't know how close they'll get when you do that, but I do know if I stay up here uh, and just lay down, they actually won't even spook when I aim at them. So I get that little bit of advantage. Uh, I can try to take them a little bit off the ground with the 22 or crossbow. So we'll probably do that, uh, and then I'll just have to restart my game to be able to get in the blind again. So we've got another flock here, which we will not spook by actually being laying on the ground because they're going to land over there where our blind's at. Uh, so we should be fine to try to spot these guys. I'm pretty sure they are set on coming in to the decoys here in a minute. And I'm definitely not seeing anything big. That's a level 4, so we're going to try to take that off the ground. Hopefully with the 22, I hope we can get an angle uh, where we can actually do that. Because that would be a solid gold. Um, is that a goose? Yeah, it is. I thought it was one of the random birds, but I think it's a goose. Yeah, level 2. Uh, but anyway, let's get on that 4 again. How did I do that? I don't know what I just did. Got a whole another flock of goose coming in here. Another four. I'm always spotting to see if I... See, oh, that is a level five. Which one was that? The one right in the front. All right. Uh, the mood of this video has entirely just changed because we could have a diamond level five goose in front of us. And it seems like they have noticed me on the ground. Maybe because the wind is bad here. And please do not tell me the level five is one of the ones that stuck up in the air. Uh, no, that's him right there. I know I'm going to mess this up because it's so tough to drop them. And where's he going to land at? I don't like where he's headed there. Oh, we might be able to get him with the 20 gauge. I'm going to try that. Uh, I feel a little more confident with that. Let's go for it. Oh, we actually dropped him. Okay. I don't know if 220 gauge buckshot works. And actually, the thing that I'm most afraid of right now is he going to actually be findable. I will try for so long, but... We actually just dropped a level 5 goose. I swear if we get a rare and a diamond uh, in the same video, that would be insane. We actually found them somewhat quickly. Let's stamp a little grass down here. I'm so suddenly, like, a little bit shaky and heart racing because I just didn't expect that. All right, what do we got? 8.6 trophy rating, 950 diamond goose right on the muddy. I will take that. Uh, that makes a lot of the bugs and uh, some of the stuff that I've been dealing with to try to make this work feel so much better. That is actually right on my 20th diamond, the new species. That is so cool. We got geese coming in from all over now. I don't see any fives in that flock, so maybe we can actually try to show off that 22 uh, shot. Like, I don't know if the wind actually matters. I don't think geese should be able to smell anything. Uh, but it might make some kind of difference. So I do want to show the 22 on the ground uh, if possible. Though the last ones really didn't stay there for me to do that. So I don't know. Uh, but I had it work before. And they are going to try to land there. They kind of do a little bit of a dive bomb. I like that animation, but I don't like the way that they land. Uh, they seem to be missing a little bit of something. So what we need uh, to actually kill one of these is a lung shot. And they're just taking off right away. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, let's just grab the 20 gauge with buckshot. I'll try to drop that one uh, as it's taken off. There we go. Can we get this one? That works so much better uh, than the bird shot. I, I just have no luck with the bird shot. With the buckshot, though, I'm actually able to drop the geese, uh, as you saw, with that diamond, uh, which just really made my day uh, after trying to hunt these guys for so long and having zero luck. Uh, where is that other one that we dropped in? Was I spotting it when I shot it? I can't actually remember. Um, I'll find it here somewhere. It was a level three. 
Uh, but I gotta restart my game so I can get back in the blind. I wanna try to show uh, the 22 off a little bit. I don't know how I'll do it. Maybe I'll be further away uh, somewhere, but where the heck is this goose? I'm gonna lose my consec if I don't find it before we do that. Oh, there it is. All right, and I don't know, does a 22 plus a buckshot still give integrity? It does. Uh, and we missed the vitals by a bit there, ended up in the wing with a 22, and then got sternum and... So I want to try to show you guys uh, shooting them off the ground. We've managed to get back into the game here and into our blind. I'm just spotting here to make sure there's nothing too special. And I definitely don't see anything. I think the best I saw was level 3 in this little ch Oh. You guys don't look okay. Alright, so this guy's going to try to spook when we get up, but I'm going to see if I can hit him in the lungs before he takes off, so we're going to have to make this quick, but let's go for it. Wow, that was... what the heck? He just shot out of there. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going to have to hit him with the 22 still. See, the problem is, he's going to die. You can see that by his percentage dropping, and I just cannot hit him. It's actually a she. Uh, whoa. What the heck happened there? Uh, but basically by keeping them spotted like that, I will be able to find it. Uh, and I'll show you that. And that's what you want to do if you're shooting geese somewhat long range. You have to have them spotted. Because uh, if I go into my map here, you can see this little... Uh, I think it's a pig icon, uh, the little green spotting, and that's going to be pretty much where my goose is because I spotted it until it dropped. So that's very important to do. I really do recommend doing that uh, if you're shooting long range with a 22 or if you shoot one that starts to fly off uh, and you notice that its percentage is dropping. You have to keep it spotted so you know where it's going to be in, at least until uh, the up, uh, update, the outline thing is fixed. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that. Then I really want to show off that 22 thing. Maybe what I can do is actually hide in the brush a little bit. That might help me uh, to get a shot while they're not actually just straight up spooking. So I'll try that next because uh, I thought I was able to just lay down last time, but they're definitely spooking this time. All right, so next strategy is to lay here in the brush. You can see uh, on the hut in the bottom right, I am pretty much completely hidden. And every time I try to do this, I swear we just get so many geese. Uh, that was a four. So that would be the ideal one to try to take off the ground, but if I can get these first ones to actually stay and not just spook uh, within like a second or two of hitting the ground, I'm going to try to just get any that I can see just to try to show off how the 22 works. It looks like these ones are landing roughly where I want. Uh, so let's get the 22 ready and see if they actually stay. It looks like they might. Uh, yeah, they're just going to walk around. So apparently this strategy works actually being hidden. So let's try to find where that level 4 went. I think it was maybe one of these two. Yeah, it's that one. That's about 50 meters away, and we have to get a lung, uh, which is actually not as easy as it might sound. I'd rather it be broadside, but we might have to go for that frontal angle. It's actually walking our way, uh, which does benefit us a little bit, so I might actually wait. Uh, I mean, we have a diamond already. I was going to say we're going to lose the gold on this because I know my consex has gone uh, after having just crashed again, so I don't mind that so much. Uh, I don't know. Do they really stop walking? Let's just see some of the other ones. Seems like they just kind of walk around. And they will just leave eventually, so let's go for this. Nope, that didn't work. Wait, what's going on here? Alright, got another hit in it. And let's try to just end it with the 20 gauge. And I think we got the one we were after. So, where did that 22 shot land? I swear that should have actually been in the lungs. They seem to have to be rather close and broadside to get it. And, yeah, we hot. Is that like a... I can't stay on the correct thing that's like just the breastbone maybe yeah I think that's what that is and we just hit it right dead center we're not even close to the lung so I guess broadside's the only way with that uh, and that would have been a gold for sure uh, but yeah uh, I thought we'd be able to get that to work but definitely not and I think these are actually uh, leaving they do that weird thing they just fly so high uh, when they're fleeing I have no idea what that's about it's a little bit strange uh, but we'll go back in the blind then, just do a little more shotgun hunting, uh, and then wrap it up. I don't think we can top a rare and a diamond, but maybe a rare diamond next? That is a huge flock of geese, and by the way, if you get ones like this, where they're just kind of like slow motion flying, uh, don't even bother, they don't die. Um, if these don't land, I'll show you, but I'm pretty sure they'll land, so, uh, yeah, they're gonna come around. Uh, we're gonna try to use the 20 gauge on them again, but holy, is this a lot of geese. Uh, and it looks like some of these are going to try to land right on top of me here. Alright, got that one. I guess I'll switch to the uh, 12 gauge because there's no way I'm getting reloaded in time. But that's two hits in that one. 
and I'm not getting any more. And you can see it's not even dying. Uh, I'm just not really impressed with the birdshot on these. It really doesn't have that much of an effect. Actually, I'm not even going to bother with the 22. It's just going to be difficult to find it. Uh, but is that slow motion one still over there? Yeah, it is. I'll run over there and show you that you can't actually kill them. All right. I should be able to hit them there. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's normally what happens. I thought for a second it actually died. Uh, but basically, you saw it try to drop, and then it just catches itself in the air and starts flying again. I'll try to show you that again uh, if I can get it. But this is what happens if you get the slow-mo ones, so just don't even bother shooting them. You're just going to end up uh, pretty much wasting your time and ammo. Let's just hit that again. You can see it tries to die, and then it just catches itself in the air, uh, which is really quite strange. I'm going to try to get a screenshot uh, of the goose, though, while it's doing that. Just got to knock it down a little further. Oh, that's too far, probably. We've got a bunch more geese coming in here. I did spot a level four behind us. I just want to spot these ones as well. Bunch of threes, but uh, the four is the biggest one, and I think it's the other one right there. And it's doing a mating dance. I don't know if I can kill it from that far away, to be honest. I'd like to try the 22 thing again, but I just feel like it's going to end up flying away before I can hit it. And if that one that I wanted to take is just going to do that, I guess maybe it would be worth it to try to take this one. I don't even know if it'll, like, flee or if it'll just keep doing its weird mating dance there. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, should have thought better of that. Whoa, I don't really know how that happened. It looks like that did fix uh, our mating dancing goose, and it would be that one then? No? Well, I don't know where it went, but... Uh, We'll go grab the one we got. 5.7 mail. We did keep our consec. So we're going to try this 22 idea once more. It seems like when you are uh, actually hidden in the grass, it works. And that's a pretty decent angle to try this. So let's zero for 50. And of course, it's going to kind of turn. I like that feeding animation. That's pretty cool. All right, my game kind of freaked out, but it did work. I'm sorry about the little bit of like lag that uh, definitely happened there. Can we hit this? Oh, we can. Wow, we hit it twice. I bet that'll kill it, but yeah, it's definitely going to. Just try to hit it again. I don't think I'll be able to. That's a... What the heck? That is a very strange way to die. Uh, let's grab this one with the 22. And please don't crash on me. Alright, yeah. So when you get into the lung, they do drop. And again, I apologize for the frame stutter. I don't know... Ah, it crashed. Alright, we are pretty much crashing after every goose we pick up, so I think I'm going to leave this video here. There are definitely some issues uh, that need to be worked on with these geese. Uh, obviously, the crashing, some of the blind issues, and I really do feel the geese either have to be made less resilient, or the birdshot has to be made a little more powerful for the 12 gauge and the 20 gauge, because birdshot is really not doing anything, and you don't really hunt geese with the 22, so I don't have a problem really uh, the way with the way that that works, but... Uh, yeah, I do feel these geese have so much potential. I do think uh, that if they are eventually made uh, to be as intended, they might just be the animal that's hunted the most uh, here in Call of the Wild. But of course, there's still issues with the geese getting stuck in the air uh, and then the random slow motion thing they do when they don't die. Uh, there's definitely a lot that needs to be worked on. But I mean, all in all, this hunt actually went reasonably well. I didn't have too many issues compared to what I had earlier. Uh, and I mean, heck, we dropped a rare and a diamond goose, so I can't complain about that. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.